Hello YouTube, this is Shiva Sapkara here with another video. If you're new to my channel, I make technology videos weekly and uh, do various reviews on different technologies, gadgets, uh, and everything that I'm excited about. I also make Tesla videos, so please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you will uh, be notified when I make another video. Uh, today, uh, in this video, we are going to be looking at the MacBook Pro. This is a 13-inch uh, 2012 model with the retina display. I have 120 gig of memory in here and um, it's, it's fast and everything but then once once you load a couple of videos in here it starts you know freezing and um, I thought about you know just getting a new Mac but you know maybe I started looking into it if we can just upgrade the SSD in here and then see if it if it would be faster. So we're going to give this a try. I'm going to be showing you how you can upgrade SSD on this Mac. Um, this is the Aura SSD upgrade from um, the OWC, the Other World Computing. This is a 500 gig SSD and it comes with all the tools um, to, to be able to replace uh, for this MacBook Pro. Uh, and just remember, they have they this company has SSD upgrade for all Mac products. So any year, just make sure that you get the right one. Mine is a 2012 version, so I purchased this. Um, but whatever whatever version that you have, um, you can get it from this website. Um, so let's dive into it. Let's see what the the packaging has. Um, this is the SSD itself. Uh, they packaged in a really nice case right here so we will um, keep this in a in a case for now there is uh, uh, kind of a easy to use instructions over here we'll put this aside this this kit has the SSD drive so the the drive that you're gonna take out from this computer you can put it in um, in here Right here, it says factory, Apple factory, SSD only. And you will be able to put it right here and use it as a regular um, drive, ex external SSD drive, uh, whatever comes out of this one. So we will put this aside for now. And then, and they send you in a nice baggie so you can carry it around. They also, have the SSD drive, uh, hard drive, SSD drive reader. So this one, this cable, you will be able to connect to the Mac later on to read your um, OEM SSD from the Mac. And then they send you tools um, to open this screws, also the screws inside. And then they send you a couple spare screws over here that will be helpful to mount the the SSD drive, uh, the external SSD drive. So let us get into it. So before we begin, um, if you want to have all your data backed up, um, if you need your data from your Mac, uh, you're gonna wanna back up all of your um, data before we proceed with the with a replacement of your uh, hard drive, your SSD drive. So in my case, I have this um, really old hard drive that I got it from my um, old laptop and I have this uh, adapter that kind of plugs in right here so that I can back up my Mac into this. Um, you know, because I already have low memory in this drive that I don't, um, I can't, I can't back it up. I can't do a time machine backup. So to be, to do the time machine backup, you just have this drive and then you plug it in So it recognizes that the drive has been plugged in. And then right here, I, I named it as a MacBook backup. So uh, that drive is here. Um, to, to For a better visibility, I'm gonna do a screen recording of the actual screen on how you can um, actually run the the Time Machine backup. Um, and I uh, the video will continue with the, with the screen recording. So this, uh, once the, the, the backup drive is um, in here, uh, named it MacBook Backup here. What you wanna do is go over here and then do uh, Time time Machine. So when you click on Time Machine, 
this screen comes up you can do a backup automatically or you can just do select a backup disk and right here the MacBook backup this is the drive over here you can do use disk and then it will say do you want to erase the backup this Mac MacBook backup because it needs to erase before it can format it in a usable format for time machine backup so you say yes erase and then when you're erasing it, it goes out of this view for a little bit. And then it comes back as a time machine backup. And it says next backup will happen in 112 seconds. Please ensure that your laptop is completely shut down before proceeding to the next step. Here there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. So it looks like there's ten uh, little tiny screws. So you want to make sure that you're using the right tool to take them out, and you want to make sure that you are collecting this in the exact same order that they came out of this Mac. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all of these screws in this tray right here, and this is the the 1.2 millimeter. So we're gonna take this out and I'm gonna fast forward this video. So so now this this can be the the external plate can be removed. Once inside this is your power supply that you are going to want to remove. Now, kind of peel this gently. I recommend pushing it over here so you don't pull it too much. And over here, as you can see, there is this three screws that you're going to take your T5 screw and take those out. Leave them here for now. This one has a thick barrel, so you're going to have to kind of pull it manually. This one needs to be kind of pried out, and then once this plastic tab is replaced, there is a thick silver screw over here. Let's put that in. Now, this the power supply is out so you don't have to worry about the power supply here what we're gonna do is now you can replace remove this um, connector tab well this one is out now you want to push into this push gently and then you can remove the unit altogether over here we're gonna Move this for now and focus on this drive. So you're going to take your um, T5 and then on a screw, this is screw over here, and you're going to take a plastic pry tool, kind of gently tug in here to remove this unit. So you kind of have to pull it back a little bit and this is the SSD unit the, that came with Apple, um, the OEM SSD unit. Now that we have removed the original SSD, we're going to take out our new SSD, the Aura. It's right here. And you see there is a little notch over here that, that kind of aligns with this notch over in the, the, the SSD drive port. You're going to kind of push into this. Now, you give it a little tug. It uh, it aligns with, with the notch over here. There's no wrong way to do this, so you're not going to mess it up. If you, if you do it upside, like flip side, it's not going to work anyways. It's not going to go in. Um, and then you're going to put this screw over here 
to secure this SSD in place. Now, we're gonna bring the board over here, the laptop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this and then we're gonna tug it in this side, the drive side first, and then kind of push gently over here and then align with this two notches um, to, to fully, for, for this thing to fully go in. So now we're rolling. Now we're gonna gently press in here to make sure that the driver is um, sec securely in place. And then we're gonna start putting all of this back together. First, we're gonna start with this big uh, silver screw that we took out. Now that is secure in place. We're gonna bring this tab over here and then we're gonna put this, this screw right over here. And have that secured in place. Now, we're gonna put this screw that goes right here. That need to go in place. Make sure this was secure and this was secure. Now we are ready to put the back plate. We're gonna align this. Now, after you have installed your new hard drive, uh, when you open it up, first you are gonna wanna, um, it is gonna go through a recovery mode, what is called recovery mode. Uh, and since the laptop was connected to internet, it will do an internet recovery mode. So what we need to do is we need to press the power button. So when you press the power button right here, you want to put command R right away when the, when the thing is booting. So you want to hold on to command R. And then it goes through the internet recovery option. There you go. So it says starting internet recovery. This may take a while. It is trying to do a recovery of the OS using the internet. So you, when you when you press on the, the command R and you go through the internet recovery, you get to this screen right here. This is where you can restore from a time machine backup or you can just reinstall your Mac OS S. Um, in my case, we had originally backed up in this uh, based on the earlier video. So this has a time machine backup of the, the, the original SSD drive that I had in my Mac. All you have to do is plug this in. And then you do restore from time machine backup. And then when you do continue, it will it will it will ask like important information, you know, all of that. And then when if you continue, it, it searches for which backup. So from here, you just follow the instructions and restoring your system. It will go through, it will probably take several hours depending on how much data that you have and it will restore your system. So we're gonna install the Envoy Pro that came with the kit uh, over here. This is the booklet. It, it, it explains how to install um, the Envoy Pro with the SSD that you just took out from your Mac. Here is the, the Envoy Pro, the housing and here is the SSD drive that we just took out from the MacBook Pro. So what are we gonna do? Right over here, you have um, the, the little notch over here that um, aligns with this notch in the SSD drive. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide it right here and you're gonna align with this screw, the hole over here for this screw. You're gonna take the 
You're gonna take your T5 and then you're gonna take the the fattest of the, the three screws and then, well, this is still aligned. We're gonna put the screw in right here. Now it is secured in place, it's not gonna move. And what you are gonna do is you wanna, so there's a notch right over here. That notch, you're gonna align with this notch over here on the, on the adapter. So what you're gonna do is, we're gonna take this, you're gonna align that notch over here, and then you're ready to go. Now you're gonna take the, the remaining two screws that we have, and you, we're gonna put the screws right here. One. And then the other one. Now we're almost done. One last step is we're gonna take the, the sticky that they came, that they send, and we're gonna cover the screws. Now that you put the sticky over here, it looks like you there was never any screws over here. And then this is your SSD enclosure and there is 128 gig. In my case, there's 128 gig inside here. What you do now is there's the, the outlet over here and then you wanna plug in the SSD cable that came with it. Right over here. Now it is it's plugged in. And then here's your USB drive on the other side. I mean the USB cord on the other side that just plugs into any USB outlet. And there you go, you're ready to go. There is your extra SSD drive with its own enclosure that you can use it as just an external drive. Um, so in my case, I got an extra 128 gig out of doing a replacement of my SSD upgrade using the, the Envoy Pro kit that came with the uh, the Aura SSD upgrade from the other world computing. It was super easy to do all of this. Uh, I had never opened a Mac before. So this was, this was I, I followed the instructions that were provided in the website through this all of this reading material. And I was able to pull this off just fine. And my Mac is working great. So I extremely highly recommend this kit uh, for anyone that is looking to make their Mac faster as well as you know just have more memory in here rather than trying to go, go going to spend more money on buying new mac i suggest that you try an upgrade in your ssd thank you for watching this video uh, i hope if you found it helpful if you did find it helpful please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification so that you'll be notified for my future videos on the comment, please um, let me know what I can improve on or what other videos that you would like to see in the future so that I can make those videos for you. This is how you upgrade your SSD or your hard drive in your MacBook Pro with the Retina display on this case and um, how you get an extra SSD drive out of it as well. Uh, please uh, let me know if there is uh, any feedback that you have and I really, really appreciate your time. Thank you very much.